Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, it is, well, it's, I have no idea what time it is. Oh no, it's 12.15. <laughs> Morning's gone. Um, my kids have been doing some, actually they have had a reasonably lighter day today. <clears throat> they still need to do a few things, but they're having a break time right now. Um, and I, my son and I just spent a uh, unreasonable amount of time <laughs> figuring out this new camera stand. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk technical filming. This is like a whole other side. You know, I can do the sewing, no problem. But this whole videography, editing, the whole technical side of this is just completely new territory. I'm still on a very much a learning curve. Um, but my, I have an iPhone 11 that I got, um, well, we, it was time to upgrade our phones and it has a really good camera. Um, the problem is, is that all of our computers are Microsoft computers. Um, and they do not like talking to iPhones. So I just have always had a really big issue of getting film footage off my phone and onto the computer. However, <laughs> I have found, um, I'm in a, a sewing blogger support group on Facebook and, um, Amanda from my sew a lot actually had recommended, um, this it's a light has a lightning, um, which you plug into the bottom of it's the the jack part that plugs into the bottom of um, iPhones, you know, to, to charge or the headphones or whatever. It has a lightning port and also a USB port. So it's a flash drive. So you can put it into your iPhone, download things onto the flash drive, and then put the flash drive onto your computer. So I've ordered one. It's like $30 and um, it should be here on Saturday. So I'm going to wait and actually I'm going to go ahead and film on my phone and just trust that I can get the footage off my phone and onto the computer to then edit on Saturday for the sew along. So I think with this new stand, having my phone set up on it, because it's kind of a hassle to get things onto it. Um, you know, if I'm, especially in a sew along, if I'm having to like switch angles a lot and then having my regular camera in the sewing room for all of the, you know, the sewing footage. So, um, so I think I found some good angles that I like for the sewing part. Um, but then this will allow me to really even more so than you saw last night, be able to film from above. Um, because obviously my phone is a lot lighter than my camera, um, which is, and there's an adapter. So we figured all of that out. So I'm very excited to see if this works. The sew along could be a completely new Tomcat stitchery. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that that's going to work probably pretty well, hopefully. Fingers crossed, let's hope that this flash drive works. Um, again, it should be here tomorrow or Saturday. Although my, my flash drives arrived early too. We have a warehouse, a Amazon warehouse is in Indy. So um, sometimes we get things a little quicker on a normal basis. Of course, we are in COVID times, so <laughs> who knows when things will arrive. Um, but anyway, that's what we've been doing this morning. So now I'm going to go sew up. I've cut out my muslin for the M8009, uh, just the bodice. I'm just doing the bodice because the bottom is, number one, it's gathered, so it's super loose and roomy. Um, and I think the only tweaks I'll have to make to that is uh, shortening the length. But I want to wait and do that, that at the end anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make up this muslin. And then I have a feeling I'm going to want to raise, I think it's a pretty... Um, diving <laughs> scoop or a V neck there. So I'm probably going to want to sew that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's delve into the muslin and we can see what fitting adjustments now need to be made to the pattern before I cut out my fashion fabric and it has been ironed and it's on the cutting table and ready to go um, as well as my lining. So um, yeah, I'm going to go sew that up real quick and then I'll come back and show you what the muslin looks like. All right. All right, guys, so here is my muslin, and I am actually really, really pleased with the way that this fits. Um, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Okay, so I've tucked under the 5 8 inch seam allowance that will be um, where the pants attach. This is sitting right where it should, under my bust. I have, the pattern has you not sewing this up at all. Like, it just attaches right here to this midriff piece, which would be obviously plunging. So I have just sewn up the center front, um... I don't know, whatever that is, two and a half inches maybe. And then if you pull that away where the seam allowance, I mean, it's still gonna be like a, a va va boom um, <laughs> jumpsuit, but yes, it definitely holds that in better. I think it fits really well in the back. I still have some ease that I can easily get my fingers around um, for that. Now, I will also, shoulder, if I tuck in five eighths of a seam allowance. I think that that's going to sit just perfectly. And then that would be 
5 eighths. So it should sit about like that, which I think is just perfect. So I'm not even going to do a narrow shoulder adjustment. This is a little high right now, but again, once I've clipped into that, that 5 eighths of a seam allowance, it's going to be right about perfect. Um, so you'll notice this, my natural waist is right here at this waistband, and this is obviously above it. However, when I tuck the 5 eighths of an inch under, the, bo the pants bottom, let's see, the bottom part of the jumpsuit, so the pants, shows you right here where the waistline is. So this is supposed to be a little above natural waist. So if I tuck under the 5 eighths seam allowance here at the top and bump that up to the bottom of this, that has putting that waistline line right on my natural waist. So we should be good to go. Yeah, I mean, I think when all is said and done, obviously the gathers will be much prettier because they're going to be in a, a chalet. Um, but yeah, I think we're good to go. I think that full bust adjustment and then adding the extra width here um, on the midriff part is going to be fine. I also wanted to say, if, let's say you do need the full bust adjustment, but you want to leave the waist where it was at the same waist measurement, you would just not mess with this uh, midriff part at all, and you would just gather more of this into the gathers. So this is actually a very easy top to do a full bust adjustment on. And the same with the um, that new look dress that I made right at the beginning of all of this that kind of looked like the tea dress, uh, the sew over tea dress. So anyway, I think sewing it up, I'm going to measure because I think that's a really good spot to, um, to sew that up to. So yeah, I think this is going to work really well. Okay, so all in all, I'm very happy with how that muslin has turned out. I'm going to um, unpick the zipper here. Um, I basted it in, so that shouldn't, because I'm actually going to use the zipper for my actual um, garment. But um, you're going to want to jump up here, aren't you? Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, I think I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to cut this out and get this sewn up today. Um, I was going to show you how to add a lining to, to a bodice, um, but this pattern comes with a lining. It has a lined bodice anyway, so I'm not going to show you on this one. Um, I'm just going to line it, follow the instructions. Um, actually, I probably won't follow the instructions. I'm probably just going to do my own thing, but you could follow the instructions and get the same result probably. But I have been, um, I'd asked, been asked for a sew along for this pattern, this 6674, and I think I'm going to do this uh, sew along after I am done with the wrap dress sew along. So the wrap dress sew along is coming um, starting Sunday, and I think when that is finished, I'm going to do this sundress because this one actually uses uh, facings in the front, and so I can show you, or is that going to be really hard because of the button placket? Oh, excuse us. I mean, it's a little different because of the button placket, but I mean, I could still do it. I can basically show you. It would just be, if you were doing something with a zipper, it'd be a little different. But I mean, I would fully line this bodice anyway instead of using facings, I think. Um, and then just have facings down through the skirt. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think I would do the facings down to the skirt. So I don't think I want to line the whole thing. That's just kind of heavy, especially in the summer, but I'm making it with a rayon. Anyway, if I don't do a lined bodice, I'll get into that. If I don't do a lined bodice on this, I will do a sew along and show you how you can um, do a lining instead of facings for any bodice. It's very easy, really. Um, but anyway, this is the pattern I think I'm going to do after the wrap dress sew along. But I wanted to show you guys. So my fabric store... Um, order, not the fabric store, but fabric-store.com, the U.S. company, um, order came, and I want to show you what I got, and I got five remnants, so I just ordered remnants, I was interested to try the, um, to try some of the different, um, weights, basically, so I got, and I'm looking at my receipt here so that I can see how much of each I got. So I got, and I also want to get 
I got two of their heavyweights. And it doesn't say, oh look, the stickers are on here. <laughs> that makes it even easier. It does not say that on here, but um, I remember from ordering it. So this is the heavyweight, and this is the autumn gold color. And I haven't even checked this against. So I think that should be fine. It goes along very well with this color there, and kind of that top color. I'd say it's kind of in between the, this one and this one on my color palette. Um, but I've got two and a half yards of this. And again, this was a remnant, and I think it's all 59 inches wide, I believe. I'll measure it, though. I'm going to wash all of this um, before I do anything with it. And then I got two yards of this green, and this is called Vineyard Green. And I think that this goes really well. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, this is a little more, has a little more blue in it than I think I thought, but it goes with kind of my teal color that's there, this top one. I actually think that's really close. This might be a little bit lighter, but yeah, um, tonally they are the same. This color right here. So two yards of that one, and then this, so those are both the heavyweight, and then I got, um, Sorry, I like to check the colors. Oh, this is like a perfect match. Look at this. This is the apricot color. This is the lightweight, so I didn't get any of the medium weight, but that like matches that bottom one perfectly. And um, I got three different cuts of it because um, I really couldn't do much with any one. So I got 0.4 yards, 0.7 yards, and 0.6 yards. <laughs> so of course they've all been cut, but um, I think I can get a shirt out of that because this is lightweight, and even before washing it, I can tell that it's, I mean, this is definitely um, shirt weight. And I would say, I mean, I'll w wait to wash it, but I wanna compare it to the, fab the fabric store's linen that I have over here, but I'll wait and wash it, it's kinda of hard. Linen has um, that coating that's on it, so it's kinda of hard to tell right now, but I wanted to compare the heavyweight to the fabric store's I want to compare fabric dash stores heavyweight to the fabric stores heavyweight, and likewise, this is their light. This is their lightweight. Um, they also have a medium weight that I don't have any of, so it could be that their medium weight might be closer to the stuff that I'm using here from the fabric store. Um, and then we could talk about prices. You know, a lot of people were like, "Oh, the fabric store uh, or fabric dash store is the prices are a lot better," and they are better. They um, are around eleven fifty dollars, eleven dollars fifty cents a yard for normal. Um, but you have to remember too, the fabric store in New Zealand, their prices are in the New Zealand dollar. So while it looks like that's you know whatever twenty four twenty five dollars a yard, if you convert that back to U.S. dollars, it comes out to about fifteen dollars a yard. Um, with today's currency. So it is more expensive, but not as, it's not like over double. Um, so you do have to keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm gonna get this washed up and then see, um, do some comparisons for you guys. So I'm very excited. I mean, this is obviously closer to home for me. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna get those three um, washed because I think, I think, while the apricot will probably be a shirt, one of these I think is gonna be the Sienna Maker jacket. I just need to decide which. Because right, I think you just need two yards for the shorter version. I wanna do the shorter version of that one. Um, and I even said it was between a green and a yellow. So I've got both so we can make a decision. And the other one, um, I'll wait and see how it washes up, but maybe a pair of Pietra pants or shorts um, or maybe even a fewer skirt, we'll see. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Okay, I'm gonna go eat lunch, and then when I come back, I think I'm gonna do uh, maybe some time lapse of me cutting out the jumpsuit, and then um, we'll slow it down a little this time, and then we will, I'm gonna start sewing that jumpsuit today. It's nice and rainy. Um, yeah, it's a perfect day to be in the sewing room. Okay, I'll see you guys soon.
okay guys here she is she has not this has not been hemmed yet I need to decide I need to find shoes and decide what shoes I'll wear with this but I love this jumpsuit the fit feels fantastic I love the bright print I did get a flower boob but I think it's okay with the other I mean I think it, it almost has like a corsage type feel <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna find some shoes um, I'm thinking at least two more inches are gonna have to come off the hem so I'll play around with pinning up the hem and trying it back on um, and the lining needs to be tacked down to the waist seam on the bodice but I really love this pattern I think that um, I think that doing the shorts version would be fun. So yeah, it is wide legged, but I think that this would be lovely for um, for a wedding or an evening out. Maybe with higher heels. Yeah, I just need to decide what shoes to wear. But yeah, there we have it, guys. Okay, so I finished my M8009. I love this. I do need to still tack down. In fact, my lining is getting all bunched up in there because I still need to tack that down. Um, and then it still needs to be hemmed. But um, I'm going to play around with my shoes a little bit and decide what shoes I want to wear with it. I think I know what heels I want to wear. They're kind of, they pick up this red color. Um, and they're a peep toe, so they would just kind of peep out from the back. Um... Cause yeah, I think I want it full length, but I don't want it. I mean, obviously it's, it's puddling on the ground a lot right now. Um, so I think at least two more inches need to come off the hem. Um, and I kind of want to do a thicker hem on it just to help weight the rayon down a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to play around with the hem. <laughs> okay. That's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me along on this ride. And, uh, tomorrow I am going to be filming a sew along. So I don't know how much sewing you'll see in the daily vlog tomorrow, since I will be doing, um, that wrap dress sew along. Um, but yeah, I will definitely come on here and talk to you, especially about the new linens. I need to go wash those this evening too. I'm in the middle of doing laundry anyway. Okay. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, you coming up? Okay, so I just finished uh, filming the first part of the sew along for the wrap dress, and um, I think my new setup's gonna work really well. Come on, are you coming or not? My new uh, setup is gonna work really well, so I used my phone to film all of the pattern work, which will primarily be on, um, Sunday's video is gonna be the pattern work that I'm doing, so the adjustments that I just know I'm gonna need to make just by looking at um, finished measurements. And then I make a muslin, and I was very pleased with the, with the finished muslin, actually. Um, I'm not making any tweaks to the muslin. Um, once, you know, I've done a full bust adjustment, um, that's really it. I did a full bust adjustment. I did, um, make the, I did a full bicep adjustment as well. And I show you how I do that. And then I have shortened, I didn't do a muslin for the skirt, but I did widen the skirt just a little bit so that it matches the bodice. And then I also shortened the skirt by two inches, but I don't show that because I just did the muslin of the bodice. Um, I am going to sew that pattern. Um, I'll put a picture of the pattern so you know what I'm talking about up here. So the way that this pattern has you tying it is like a bathrobe. So there's like inner ties that you tie and then it crosses over and you tie. And I'm not crazy about that. I just don't feel that that's super secure. I just feel like that leaves a lot of room for like gaping here. Um, so I'm turning mine into a true wrap dress. I'm going to put, um, I do a buttonhole on the side for the uh, ties to pass through. So I'm gonna make my ties quite a bit longer um, and I'm not gonna have the inside ties. So mine will just be two outside ties on the outside like a true wrap dress and one will go through the, pass through the hole and then they'll wrap all the way around to be tied. Um, so I am making that change to the pattern. Um, the full bust adjustment did make my dart very large, but um, I think in my thin cotton lawn or cotton voil, there it is on the floor, you see? It's getting ready to be ironed, so there's, I have a lot of it. Um, I think that it might, it'll be fine. Like I didn't even mind a lot of times when you have a really big dart, you have a hard time getting a nice smooth tip to the, um, end of the, the apex. And it was a little bubbly in my muslin, but also the muslin's way thicker than my, um, foil. And, um, yeah, I think I'll be able to easily smooth that out in the sewing process.
process of that. But the apexes are ending right where they should. I don't even need a narrow shoulder adjustment or do I need a um, petite adjustment? So um, really just the full bust um, that adds width to the waist and obviously it, you know, the full bust adjustment, it also changes the arm's eye here. So that helps with a lot of fitting issues in through there when that is done properly. So anyway, that's very exciting. I can't wait to start getting that sewn up. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna do any other sewing today though. It is a gorgeous day outside. I'm probably gonna go on a really long walk with my husband when he gets off work. Um, which actually it's already two o'clock and I've not had lunch yet. So I'm going to go do that. Um, but yeah, I think we're, yeah, it's Friday, the family, we're going to, I don't know, maybe, um, grill out this evening, probably. Um, who knows? We don't have any marshmallows. So it'd be good to have a, do some s'mores on the fire outside, but, um, someone would have to brave the grocery store. Saturdays are typically our grocery store day. I hate to go more than that. Um, but yeah, I've had a pretty productive day. I did have to go to the post office today and mail my cousin her package. So that is gone. That is done. Um, yeah, we'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. Um, I got to be on a uh, kind of a Zoom type call with my sewing group, my um, chapter, my ASDP chapter, which is the Association of Sewing and Design Professionals. Um, I'm actually just a friend of, of that chapter now, but... Um, I still pay like minimal dues. I'm not a member of the national chat of the national organization anymore. Um, I stopped it when I shut my business doors, although technically I'm making a living in sewing again, so I could join the national organization again. But um, anyway, I got to have, see everyone's face on that call and that was lovely to talk to everyone. Um, yeah, it's an interesting new world, isn't it? And then I helped my daughter take, um, actually, I didn't really help with anything. I sat next to her while she took her took a math test. Ah, I'm not helping at all. I was literally just sitting there for moral support. Um, I don't remember how to do any of that stuff. It looks familiar, but I don't remember how to do any of that. Um, I'd have to totally relearn all that. So anyway, that was um, this morning as well. So we've had a very productive day so far. And again, I've got quite a bit uh, filmed. I'm still waiting on that flash drive for my phone um, so I can pull the footage that I filmed of all the pattern work off my phone. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably have about 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes probably is going to be Sunday's video for the first part of that sew along. Um, and it's all just the fitting, the pattern adjustments and the muslin um, for that one. And then we'll start sewing next week. So it's very exciting. I'm really excited to have this dress done. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got. Um, I guess I could finish my jumpsuit today, get that hemmed and get the, the bodice sewn down, but I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I may wait and just do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, th I'm torn for my next sewing project. Once I finish this sew along dress, if I want to do the other wrap dress that has cup sizes, I can't remember the number of that one. It's, it was in my plans video, or if I want to just go ahead and move on to the Pietro pants, um, I'm just really digging dresses at the, I mean, one pieces, I need those in my closet and they don't really, I, sometimes when I'm making separates, I feel like I do need to be a lot more intentional about, especially the module approach to make sure that I've got tops and bottoms that should go together. Um, and for the most part, because I sew in a color palette, that's not that big of a deal, but, um, I want to be more intentional about the color of Pietra pants I'm making so that they can go with all the CeeLo tops that I just made. Uh, so I really want to think through that a little bit more. So I may just go ahead and dig into the next um, wrap dress that um, it's a McCall's one. I just can't remember. I'll go get it. Hold on. Okay, so this is the one McCall's 7745. Uh, and I want to do this view here, but the shorter one. Um, and I've talked about this on my plans video. I think this one would be a really easy one to fit though because it's raglan. So I won't have to do a narrow shoulder adjustment and it has the cup sizes for you. Um, so I think that it wouldn't take very long. And if I'm doing wrap dress right now anyway, I'm kind of in the mode, but I'm doing it out of this kind of um, almost autumnal um, rayon crepe, which I find is beautiful. So I may do this one after I'm done with the sew along dress. This may be the next one I do with you guys on the vlog, on the daily vlog. And then after that, I say the other rayon that I have in there is going to be um, the next sew along dress. So that may, I'll just wait until I'm done with this sew along and then we'll start filming. Um, like there'll probably be a gap. Like I'll film this sew along and then once it's done, the parts coming out, I'll film the next one. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go into the Pietra pants after this. 
what else? I'm just really thinking out loud here. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be filming a, you know, a April makes what I was able to accomplish in April. And I didn't get everything done that I had said in my plans video, mostly because I went on the Cielo or Cielo <laughs> tangent. Um, I have a feeling I might do that on the other two patterns in that grouping as well. And there's a few other that I want to add to May. I want to make some fewer skirts, which is the third of that Rome collection of closet case. And I would, I want to go ahead and do a Sienna jacket, I think. And I may go ahead and put a Jessica, my orange Jessica blazer on there as well. Cause I'm, I have a lot of that cobalt and white or blue and white that I made last spring. And while that cobalt is not in my color palette, I think it would be, I love that cobalt with uh, orange, which is in my color palette. So I really want to play around with um, maybe a jacket or whatever that I can wear over some of those cobalt and white tops just to help make it my palette. Um, I also like the idea of maybe a bright red going over those. So I think there's ways that I can bring that darker blue into my color palette with some of my colors. I think that could definitely um, go well. And, you know, I've got those blue and white shorts that I made last summer. Um, I think would look great with orange and with bright red tops. So, um, of which I've already made quite a few. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. So I have been thinking about May plans um, and getting that filmed um, once May gets here. I'm looking at the stack of fabric. I also have all that, the linen, or not the linen store, or the <laughs> fabric dash store <laughs> that I just purchased. Um, I'd like to get maybe those made up as well. So anyway. I still have a lot of plans. I still have a lot of steam left behind me. I have not really um, slumped much. So that was a lot of waffle. And this may, I mean, I'll come on here and say goodnight, if I, but I think I'm probably done sewing for the day. And if I do any sewing, I will be filming it for the sew along. Um, so I, you won't see it until you watch the sew along. So <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna call it today. Again, it's only two o'clock. I think I'm just gonna spend the time with the family. I did a lot um, on here yesterday. So you guys hopefully have a nice long vlog to watch tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll touch back uh, this weekend. And uh, again, it's supposed to be rainy, so maybe we can get another wrap dress made up on the vlog. Um, okay, that's all I've got. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. If you are not watching the daily vlogs, oh, well, you're not watching this anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're watching the daily vlog. Um, have a good weekend. Stay safe.